before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Golf Luxury for 2000 Bell Canadian Open 18-hole Bunker Shot. Woods was in a tough battle with Grant Waite to try and collect his ninth win of the season at Glen Abbey. Unlike the US Open earlier on in the year where Woods won by a remarkable 15 shots, the New Zealander wasn't going away and made the American perform the extraordinary. The two had been in a constant battle from the moment the first drive had been struck in the final round. But going on to the 72nd hole, Woods had the advantage with a one-shot lead. After his drive down the right side fairway bunker, Woods pulled out his 6-iron, yes, you read that correctly, his 6-iron, a 218-yard carry from the bunker with a green fronted by a daunting lake which was eagerly waiting to claim another victim. The stakes were massive and the margin for error was absolutely minuscule, but Woods only had one thing in his mind? Winning. He powered the ball from the wet sand. His eyes were laser to it as it flew past the pin to just 18 feet away, just off the green. Jaw dropping. I kept telling everyone I didn't hit the green. Wood said, I hit it over the green, so it wasn't really that good. Claiming the win by just one stroke, it saw Woods become the first player since Lee Trevino in 1971 to win golf's Triple Crown, the US, British, and Canadian Opens in the same year. 3. 2000 MEC Invitational 18th hole second shot. Any golfer knows that the sport is extremely tough, but when it's nearly pitch black, it's a whole new level of difficulty. A 3 hour storm delay meant Woods finishes round at Firestone Country Club in absolute darkness, trying to beat the clock as it was 8.30 p.m. Fans surrounded the 18th green, with cameras flashing trying to catch a glimpse of Woods as he prepared for his 168-yard approach shot. A swing so pure saw the ball rocket into the darkness. Supporters were eagerly anticipating before it landed just two feet away from the pin. It was vintage Woods, but also an annoyance that no one could properly appreciate what he'd just done. I could see the flag, said Woods. I just couldn't see the shot. A huge ovation awaited him as he tapped in for birdie to secure a landslide victory, winning by 11 shots. The 2000 MEC Invitational was Woods' eighth victory that season. It was back-to-back -back years with at least eight titles to his name the best. Number 2. 2019 WGC Mexico Night Hole Bunker Shot A shot so special it's already got a plague by the side of the right fairy bunker on the par 4 night hole to commemorate it. Woods needed inspiration from somewhere to end his round with a bit of momentum going into the weekend. He was 134 yards out from the spin. Positioned in a bunker with overhanging trees covering all the right side of the green, originally deciding his 8 iron would do the trick, he quickly changed to a 9 iron. How right he was, he thundered the ball from the bunker with a picturesque helicopter finish and a wicked slice side soar past the trees. The spin was apparent as after a couple of bounces on the green, the ball zipped across the green to just 12 feet away from the hole. I ended up going back to the 9 iron and realized, geez, I've really got to slice this thing, said Woods, so I opened up and gave it as much of a cut motion as I possibly could, and it worked out. It would have been a cherry on top of the cake if Woods managed to sink the birdie foot, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Nevertheless, that doesn't take away the fact of Woods' shot at all the gallery drooling. It really was Tiger the Artist. Number 1. 2005 Masters 16th Hole Dap Chip Shot it certainly is best to last, a true piece of genius which is widely renowned as one of the greatest shots in golf history. Woods entered the 2005 Masters at the prestigious Augusta National in a hunt for a first major win in 34 months. He was in a fiercely contested battle with Chris DiMarco, which went right down to the wire. As the 16th approach, Woods held a one-stroke lead, but his tee shot found the left of the green as his ball landed just shy of the rough with DiMarco. Safely finding the green, eyeing up his birdie put, Woods had a tournament defining chip shot. A delicate effort saw Woods' ball land perfectly on the green as it went up the slope across the bridge, and then it gently made its way towards the hole. As the ball got closer to the pin, the gallery went silent. The ball slowly reached the lip of the hole, but it stopped. 
for an excruciating two seconds. The golfing world couldn't believe what they were watching as the ball didn't move, but then it dropped. Pure emotion poured out from Woods as he and his caddy, Steve Williams, could barely connect with their high five. It was a masterpiece, a remarkable attempt at which DeMarco could only look on in disbelief. Woods once again brought the great game to its knees. All of a sudden, it looked pretty good, Woods said, and all of a sudden, it looked really good, and then it looked like, how could it not go in? And how did it not go in? And all of a sudden, it went in. So it was pretty sweet. It was a nervy end for Woods as he surprisingly nearly let it slip out of his hands. DeMarco forced a nail-biting affair to a play out, but Woods ensured that it would be him donning a fourth green jacket, equaling Arnold Palmer's total. This shot in particular truly typified the stellar career Woods has had and the moments of magic he's provided golf fans throughout the years.